This is a Thank You Ocean Report. For years, scientists have been concerned about the impact cargo ships are having on whales. For several years, especially going back to around 2007, Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary has been very concerned about the issue of ship strikes on endangered whales, in particular endangered humpback, fin, and blue whales. Sean Heron is a California Sea Grant Fellow at the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary. I say 2007, that's because in that year, there were five blue whales struck and killed in the Santa Barbara Channel, and necropsies revealed that most likely cause of death was blunt force trauma. The sanctuary has been working with the shipping industry, and the result of those conversations is a new voluntary trial vessel speed reduction program. Our trial has shown that the willingness to participate has been incredible. We started off hoping that maybe a small handful of vessels would participate. And after working with the shipping industry and with outreach to them, we ended up having to scramble to get more funds because there was such a high interest in the program. And while we're only in the early stages of this program, indications are quite positive. So far, there have been no reported whale strikes in the channel. But in addition to a reduction in whale strikes, this program also expects to see a reduction in air pollution. The Ventura County and Santa Barbara County air pollution control districts often find themselves in non-compliant for state and federal air quality regulations. And according to the Santa Barbara County Air Pollution Control District, up to 50 percent of these air emissions and pollutants are coming from the offshore marine shipping industry. And besides them just being in non-compliance, of course, there's the health risk too, which is a much greater issue because this is not only a whale issue, this is the air that everyone in Santa Barbara and Ventura County is breathing. So here's the second innovative part of the speed reduction program. Shipping companies are being asked to reduce their speed to 12 knots or less from the normal range of 14 to 18 knots. With a two knot or greater reduction in speed, you can see definite quantifiable air pollution benefits. We have come together to find a way to work with industry to achieve universal goals. We are seeing a slowdown in vessels, reduction of threat to whales, increase in protection of our air quality. And meanwhile, it's in a fashion that isn't going to be a detriment to the economic impacts of the shipping industry. And Sean ended our conversation by suggesting that the public has a role to play here as well. If there is a high demand for sustainable shipping speeds, then there will be an even greater incentive for the shipping companies to reduce speed, protecting whales, and improving air quality. My thanks to Sean Heron. And here's your Thank You Ocean Everyday Action. Learn about the entire supply chain for your everyday goods and consider choosing products produced by businesses that utilize sustainable shipping practices. I'm Jerry Kay.